I thought I would just uh, make a short video in addition to Kevin's submission of some great tips for Canvas, but also how to find cheaters in a Canvas course. And I've pulled up the final exam from March 12th in English through media, and uh, I warned them all ahead of time, the Canvas robot will tell me you left the page, and I will assume it is to look up an answer on another web browser, and you will fail the exam. And then, of course, uh, equally, I have it in the Thai language to help erase all doubts. Uh, then, uh, once I get into the final exam, I can go to the speed grader, and I've called up a student whose uh, basic data is not visible, uh, just the one named student here. And so, uh, in the speed grader, I can go to uh, the top and click View Log. And when I click View Log, then I can see um, that uh, this student left the exam 32 times, for example. And how do I find out? Well, quickly, I can just do a Control F and the word stopped for stopped viewing the Canvas quiz taking page. And we can see that number 32 pop up and all the instances along the side uh, where this student uh, left the exam and, of course, uh, with the idea of checking the answers elsewhere. So, uh, as I tell each student how many times they left the exam, of course, with electronic exams, I don't have to grade anything. And this takes a great deal less time than grading exams. And then I take a screenshot right here and I sent this student uh, the screenshot showing what you're seeing here. So never let it be said that electronic exams allow for cheating no more than a paper exam. They could bring in a phone for either one and check answers. Um, but in fact, um, I don't think they believe me and I would recommend uh, making this all very clear that you will be catching them uh, before they take exams. And apart from that, I think electronic testing has just incredible advantages in time and uh, yeah, in time and effort.